What's up guys, Manuel Pedal here, gonna give you guys a review on the two helmets that arrived. That is the Bontrager Velocis MIPS helmet and the Bontrager Ballista MIPS helmet. Let's get into it. Okay, so I got two helmets here. This is the Velocis MIPS helmet. This is my new helmet that I purchased from Bontrager. And I have the Ballista MIPS helmet, which I've had for two years. And I wanna give you guys an infield review on which one that I think is uh, the better helmet to go with. And it may help you with your buying decision and which helmet you might wanna go with for your next purchase for the road season. And uh, let's just get into it, man. The thing is with aero helmets, a lot of them can be like really big and bulky and also like really long. What I liked a lot about the Ballista MIPS helmet was that it was narrow in its design and it sits really low on the head, like a low profile, which is really cool. The helmet comes with three vents in the front and you get six vents in the rear, which is really cool. They have this in-foam technology that Bontrager proprietarily came up with that measures how much heat is passing through your head when you're riding through the actual shell of the foam. So that determines like how much airflow is gonna be needed for an aero design helmet. And it's also proven to be one of the fastest helmets in the industry, and I like it a lot. It's, it's a great helmet, it looks awesome on me. I went with the all black, and what's also good about it is that it has the MIPS technology. Now, a lot of you may not know what MIPS technology is. MIPS is Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. It helps with the rotational forces on the head in, in an event of an impact. Unfortunately, if that were to happen, you know, just make sure your head is protected. Always have a helmet on, but forbid that ever happened to me, <laughs> I know I'm going to be protected with a MIPS design helmet. So I like to go with the MIPS helmets. They're a little bit more in terms of its cost, but uh, for the added protection, I'm gonna go with that. You can see inside the helmet that you're gonna get that full protected shell and it's padding. So now this helmet is very, very lightweight. You don't really feel it on your head, especially like when you're looking down and you're out the saddle. It's not gonna really feel much weight on your head, which is really, really nice. And in terms of its style, man, it just it looks awesome. Now, what I'm not a huge fan of with the Ballista MIPS helmet is the retention system. It has this little dial right here, which is Bontrager's proprietary dial. And not to say it doesn't work, because it does, but since I've been spoiled with the new Velocis MIPS helmet that has the BOA dial, it's just hard to beat, man. But otherwise, I mean, it works perfectly fine. You're gonna get another three vents on the left and right side, total six vents on the top of the head for airflow. And I must say, man, it, it totally works. I mean, the, the helmet's fast. From my previous helmet that I came from, it was like a Giro helmet. I forgot which model it was, but I mean, it's by far one of the best helmets I've ridden so far. I've raced on it, it's super fast. So go to the bike shop and try it out. Let's get into the Velocis. Now the Velocis MIPS helmet is a sick looking helmet. It's really low profile as well. It was actually designed similar in terms of its technology with the Ballista model, but the vents you can see are much, much bigger. Let's try it on. Now with the Velocis MIPS helmet, Bontrager adapted a lot of similarities from the Ballista model, especially with its three vents in the front. The thing is with this particular helmet is that it, the vents are much wider and that's gonna cause for more airflow. So you got six in the front, whereas as opposed to the Ballista you had three and you got a top vent too. So you're gonna get a lot of nice airflow at the top. You, with this particular helmet, I like a lot, especially in the summer months, like when I rode it last summer, it was my everyday go-to helmet, you know? It's just, the, you can feel the cooling technology, like with the, it's just, it's a, it's an awesome helmet. In the rear, you got six vents as well. You got a really big wide one right here in the front, and you got another five over here. So it's, it's an awesome helmet. The big, big deciding factor for me was why I picked this helmet up the most when I go for rides is this boa dial right here. It is so precise, man. Like you could micro adjust this thing. 
The protection system is solid. You know, if you're gonna get a helmet, go with the Boa Dial. If you're gonna get a helmet, go with the Velocis. Its aerodynamic capabilities is also great, similar to the Ballista but that's also something that you can ride every day. So oftentimes in the summer, you don't want to ride an aero helmet because it's going to be really, really hot. So with this particular helmet, you're going to get those same benefits with an aero design, but also you're going to get a lot of airflow going through this helmet. So that's one of the big reasons why I recommend this helmet. Plus it's super stylish. I mean, look at the rear, the side, you know, Plus, this one also has the benefit of the MIPS technology. Again, multi-directional impact protection system that's gonna help with the rotational forces around your head in the event of, an, of a crash. Uh, forbid that ever happened to you, but at least you know if it were to happen, you're protected with Bontrager's MIPS technology design. The padding is also really great. So sweating, I noticed with my Ballista helmet, I sweat a lot. Like I sweat profusely, like it's ridiculous. And with this particular helmet, I sweat a lot, like to the point where like, I needed to get a new helmet. So when I picked this up, I noticed a, com a complete difference. Like this one actually soaked up a lot of the sweat much better than my Ballista model. So this is my go-to. Now there's a lot of people who ride the Giro Synth helmet, nothing against that particular helmet. It's a stylish looking helmet. Bond Trigger says that this one is supposed to be faster. So I don't know, but I think it looks better and I personally like it a lot. Also, it has the sunglass holder, so that's a great addition. If you wanna put your Oakleys in between these vents here, you can do that. I don't have my glasses with me, but what I also like to do is put it in the back of my helmet and it sits really nice on top of the BOA and you're not gonna get any issues with it moving around. Yesterday, I rode this helmet on my ride and it was awesome, man. You know, I usually take out the Ballista in the winter months when it's colder out just to keep my head a little warmer. But this one just like, it doesn't move, you know? Once you cinch it down, it's just, there's no left and right movement. It's just an awesome helmet. Now with the Ballista model, I found it really hard to put sunglasses inside the helmet. In fact, I couldn't do it at all. And what I would normally do with my Oakleys or my Pox sunglasses, I'll put them in the back of the helmet and sit them on top of the dial. But oftentimes like they'll slip down. So I just keep them on my face. So the Ballista model, does have a little bit of issues with mounting sunglasses so if that's something that is uh, gonna be a problem for you you might want to consider a different helmet in terms of racing and stuff like that which one to go with I mean it's hard to beat you know these this particular model was tested in San Diego's aerodynamic facilities so I mean this one is made in-house in foam, all done by Bontrager, and Bontrager is an awesome company. And I'm not paid to do this at all. I just stand by these helmets because I just think they're awesome. All right, so which helmet to go with? Personally, man, I'm gonna have to recommend both. You know, if you're looking for a dedicated aerodynamic helmet, go with the Ballista. If you want something that's gonna be really fast on race day, this is gonna be the helmet to go with. If you want something that's the best of both worlds, where you want something that's gonna be really cooler on, on long rides and long days in a saddle, and you want something that's also aerodynamic on race day, Velocis is gonna be the answer. Now, what's great about this helmet too is that it's super, super light and it's really nice with this cooling system, plus that added benefit of mounting sunglasses into the front, and you can mount it in the rear, and that boa dial just cinches down so precise. It's much nicer than the dedicated boa that uh, that comes with the ballista. So, I mean, and that's not even a boa. What am I talking about? That's their proprietary system. So, they're just different, man. Get your hands on it. Go to a bike shop. Get the feel of it. <sighs> hard, hard decision, man. But for me personally, when it's warmer out, I'm going to grab my Velocis. If I'm going to be jumping into a race or something like that, Ballista. I'll try out the Velocis as well. That's why I got a black and white so I can just show up nice, mean, and clean on different days, you know, different race days, baby. <laughs> Look, guys, hope this video provided some value for you and help you decide on which helmet to go with for your next ride. Again, if you're looking for something more aerodynamic, Ballista, if you're looking for something that's best of both worlds, aero, plus something more cooling, Velocis is going to be the way to go. Subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos as well, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.